Anything the same way. I have never felt something like this before. Ang nakanindot lang kaya one hour later when I when you, after taking the medicine, mo pait ang imong taste. Unya ang tambal ice cream. Kung dili ice cream, apple or orange. Nakaingon ko sa ginoo ginoo, salamat sa tambal. Bisag isog. <coughs> Kaya makakaunta ka ice cream mo eh. Mahon ka mo, magpaprescribe sa guana. Twenty twenty one Romans twelve verse one. Everybody together, okay? If you memorize that verse, recite it. If you have not, read it. Ready? Go. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Father, we thank you for this message. We ask you to speak to us. Make us understand that we are starting a journey 2021. It was hard on 2020. I know it will be harder on 2021, but we believe and we are assured that you will be with us. Amen. You have said in the Bible, in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, let your, let, uh, let your conversation be with covetousness. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And we claim that promise because you are a God who will never fail. We bless you and give you honor tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The title of the message is How to Face the New Year. How to Face the New Year. <clears throat> if you look at the verse, the Bible says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Now, I want you to underline the word present, and at the margin of the Bible, you say, commit. The other word is relegate. The other word is consign. Consign your bodies, relegate your bodies, commit your bodies, entrust your bodies. And he says, as a what? Living. Living sacrifice. Some people says, I'd like to die for the Lord. God does not need dead persons. Yeah. If you're going to serve God, if you're going to be an honor to his name, you must present yourself as a living sacrifice. Yeah. And it says, holy, acceptable, which is your what? Underline the word reasonable service at the margin of the Bible, you say, the highest form of service. Folks, listen carefully. Are you a Christian tonight? Amen. Are you saved? Amen. Are you saved? Amen. If you are saved, you have to understand that when you present your body to the Lord, that is the most that is the highest service to him. Amen. God does not need any other service. You can do all you can, making sacrifice, but God does not need that. You can kill a lot of the, uh, lambs and, and turtle doves and all of the things, but my friend, that's useless. Yeah. What is important to the Lord is your heart. And if you, are, if, if, if you are a serious Christian, tonight you are going to say, Lord, I am beginning 2021. I'm going to give you my highest form of service. Amen. Now, verse number two seals what you make a promise in verse number one. 
He says, and be not conformed to this world. Folks, listen carefully. You say, I'm a Christian, I'm strong, I can do this, I can do that. You cannot do it without the Word of God. Ang pulong sa gino is the one that will strengthen you. Amen. Nothing else. I like Pusi. You like Pusero? Yeah. Bulalo, Bulalo. You like Bulalo? Amen. I like Bulalo. Do you like uh, Lichon? We <laughs> you like good food, but that is for the flesh. This is for the soul. Amen. And if you miss reading this Bible, my friend, listen carefully, you will be weak and weak and weak. Many times we memorize the Bible, we memorize the Word of God, and we, we memorize a verse, and, and we just memorize it. And after memorizing, we forget the meaning of the verse. My friend, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the new of your mind. Your mind will never be renewed without the Bible. Doon ay bata nga, at doon ay klase nga i-assign sila. Children, tomorrow I want you to memorize John 11.35. Kaya Jesus wept ba? John 11.35. So, kanang gabi, eh, si John, little boy, Mommy, my teacher said that we will memorize John 11.35. Okay, let's memorize John 11.35. John 11.35. Until, until he went to bed, he said, John 11.35. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. The following morning, he went to, he went to, he went to, he went to the classroom. He go to school. And children, did you memorize the verse? She just says, Mom, yes, I memorized the verse. Is that right? Yes. Okay, John, uh, recite the verse, John 11.35. Nakalimut man siya. He said, John 11.35. John 11, 35. Do we shag yung John 11, English yung John 11, 35. God cried. <laughs> Sometimes we memorize a verse, we memorize a portion of the Bible, but then our interpretation is different. You do not interpret the Bible. It is not of private interpretation. You have to just obey the word as it is. Where is? For is. So the Bible says, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Now, it is very easy to think that because we are Christians, or maybe we grow up in a Christian home, you grow, have grown up with, with, uh, with people who know the Lord, <clears throat> that your success in life is automatic. Is it that, that sometimes we think that way? I'm a Christian, yeah, I'm okay. Sometimes we think it's automatic. Right. And your growth in the ministry or in business will be automatic. Because you're a Christian. Your growth as a family and as a personal Christian will be smooth. And uh, your family will have a happy sailing. We think that way. The Apostle Paul is probably one of the most successful Christians you will ever know. There's nobody like the Apostle Paul. I, he's, he's, a, he's a great man. To me, whenever you read the New Testament, the epistles, somebody says, what is the epistles? They are the wives of the apostles. <laughs> and when you read his, 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 his writings, you will find the heart of the apostle Paul. He used to be, he used to persecute the church. But when he got saved on the road to Damascus, 
he turned around. And the church that he was persecuted when he was saved, he was unsaved. He was defending the same church and claiming the name of Jesus Christ all the time. What is it to turn around? Paul was changed by the Word of God. Paul was changed by the power of the Holy Spirit. And this is the way it should be. And he said in Philippians chapter 3, look at that. Philippians chapter 3, verse 12. The Apostle Paul said, although he was a successful Christian, and yet he said in verse number 12, not as though I already attained, I did were already perfect. But he said, but I follow after. Paul is saying here, I have not arrived. I have not attained the goal that I want to, I want to have. What I do is I just follow after. Mga igisoon, pamina mo, anything that you do to succeed, you have to follow it. You have to follow a principle. You have to follow a, a, a procedure. Mom Arley, my daughter, bought me a, a box where I can put the money. And that, but it's still box. You put it there and my son, I do gay ko makakataon ko pa sa pag Kay ang close, open di ito. Yang open, close. Yung kung ano sa mga box sa ani, sayop, tingala yung naghimo ani. Ako di yan sayop. I was not following principle. But I, when I knew it, because I knew the principles, I know the procedure and how to open it. The same way with us, when you, you know, I am talking about facing 2021. Folks, is, like Pastor Ken said this morning, if you fail to start very well, you will end wrong. Three weeks ago, I was in Harry coming to church. So I, was, I put on my shirt and I, I, and I, and I went to the van. I was not looking at my shirt. I was just buttoning it like that. And later on, I found out that my shirt is like that. Ano ba? Evidently, I did not put the, the first button to the first button hole. I went to the second immediately. And I went on. When, I finished and I said, my, it's good. I said, my, luag man? <laughs> Do you know why? I started wrong. And because I started wrong, I did not look handsome. <laughs> why is that important? Because in life, a shirt is not as, as precious as life. When you live wrong and end wrong, my friend, you are going to regret. Many of my friends, you know, my classmates in, in medical school and even in high school and all of those people, they did not do right. And what happened? They ended up breaking up their families and all of that, they lost their jobs and business and all of that. And many of them, many of them, are they living in poverty? Because they miss the principle of living properly. And tonight, my friend, I want, you, I want you to understand the principles that the Apostle Paul was following to make himself a very successful person. I could never read anything else. Anything else. David Livingston is a successful missionary. Bob Hughes is a successful missionary. But my friend, there is no one like the Apostle Paul. And his number one principle is like this. Kining mensahe, agit-agit sa mensahe kanay ng buntag. Pero we do not copy, we do not, we do not, we do not have a conference to, to agree that this is it. It just happens this way. And the first point to follow in principle is like this. If you are going to have a successful journey in 2021, the new year, 
You have to commit yourself completely to God. Present your bodies a living sacrifice. Entrust, relegate, consign, commit yourself to the Lord. In 1969, when I became pastor over here, as soon as I became pastor, that night, I kneeled before the Lord and said, Lord, I am committing myself to you today. The church elected me pastor tonight. That was a Wednesday. And Lord, I, how, I pray that you'll just take me and use me. And Lord, whatever you want, to, want me to do, I commit myself to you. Amen. 1969, you have to commit yourself completely to the Lord. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I found after, look at this, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended, Jesus Christ. If that I may attain the goal of my life, that for which also I am apprehended of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul is using a, an analogy. You know analogy? An analogy. Like a runner, like somebody making a journey to describe the success of the Christian in his spiritual life, in his growth as a believer, or even in a man's success in ministry or business or job or anything. Brother Ralph here is a businessman. Some of you are businessmen. Some of you are teachers. Some of you have a job. Some of you are doing something that will make you leave, maybe earn some money. But some of you are in full-time Christian service. My friend, there is nobody here that is involved in something that do not like to succeed. No, no. Kitang tanan gustong mag-successful. Amen? Sa amo ka ng manangiti, successful. Bihin mo sa iba ba ako sa cellphone? Yung ko pre, kamusta ka? O, oh, mag-order ko pre, mga, ang ako mga lima kabaso. O, oh, ikaw, si ko pare diya. Tiyan mo cellphone, mag-order o tuba, lima kabaso. Niya ang, so, another, another order. Cellphone, manangiti. Ang pilot. I, my friends, sometimes we desire, we aim to become successful. I don't think that Brother Rafi would like to fail. No, 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 no. He started the business. And from the very beginning, he has committed himself to the Lord. And I want to attain my goal. Remember, you're not alone in the ministry. You're not alone in the business. You have a big competition. The devil will compete with you in the ministry. The devil will do everything he can. He will, he will, he will put evil thoughts in your mind. He will just, he will discourage you. That's the work of the devil, like Pastor can say this morning. And my friend, do not underestimate. Ayaw yaga yaga e ang yawa kay ang yawa yawa yod. Yawa na siya. From the very beginning, he is a liar. Kana mga ulitaw ninyo ang bakakon na anan asila ilan ang pamilya. Kung kamo mga lalaki mga ulitaw kinahang lang tinood ang imong isulti sa babae. Usay ang tao mag sigilag. Sige lagi suldi, sige lagi sturya, dahi, pati buwan, ihatag, di manay mo, oy. <laughs> Sometimes people do not know what they are talking about. Ingo ng maestra, take you. What is the nearest planet to the earth? Ingo siya, Ma'am, Mercury, very good. 
Class, stand. What is next to Mercury? Is a mom? Rose Pharmacy. <laughs> Very bright, Sikulas, no? And sometimes we think we do something and it's correct. My friend, God knows that the thing that you do is already written. He knows what is right, what is wrong. The devil will make you feel it is right. It is wrong. Kamu mga lalaki, ayaw mo pamakakdong. Kamu sang babae, ayaw practice of pamakaksad. Commit your life to the Lord. Chapter 3, Philippians, verse 13. Brethren, what does it say? I count not myself to have what? Apprehended. But this one thing I do. My friend, my, if you're going to be success, successful in your journey as a Christian in 2021, you have just to do one thing. Nothing else. Just one thing. If you are a, if you are a businessman, just one thing. Nothing else. One thing. If you are a uh, boxer, one thing. Dunay boxer nga mag kung fu pa man ara agoy na unsay mo sa kung boxer ka boxer ka. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for other things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, which means Paul is saying right here. He says, I am forgetting everything that is past. Behind me, my gains in business, my gains in the ministry, my losses, my failures, my sins. He's going to, he's going to, uh, uh, he's going to, to do something that is, is different than what he, he, was, he, he did in the past. Any achievement. I'm going to forget bad, bad deals and wrong attitudes and mistakes he has committed. Forget about yesterday. You know what somebody said? Somebody said, if you brood over your problems in the past, it will paralyze your present and bankrupt your future. What does it mean? If your mind is always in the past, you cannot do anything for the future. Why? Because you are paralyzed in the present. Nga naman, naduminar ka man sa past. Doon ay mga lala, doon ay mga babae, wa naman maminyo kay nabigo sa iyang mga ulit ako. O is mga iksoon pamina ko mo, kung kamu gibiyaan sa lalaki, hinundumibaya, hinundumibaya, Dili lang usang lalaki. Dili lang usang daghang lalaki. Karang tinood nga lalaki yun. Ingon si Eva one day kay Adam, Do you love me? Ingon si Adam, Who else? What am I lying? You have a choice. You have a choice of tambok, takugtian, o niya. Susay niwang. Muragi COVID. But be honest with yourself. Commit yourself completely to God. Paul said, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, to be dominated by yesterday. I want to do something today. I, want, I will forget the, the past. I am going to do something today. I'm not going to look at the future. I'm going to establish myself today so that I can be guaranteed of the future. What is the most difficult thing in the ministry? Prospects, 
clients, in business, sales, money, sales and money and prospects our customers is not the difficult thing in our business in our ministry it is the most difficult thing there is money there is you can have sales you can have prospects in the ministry you can have you can have things to do you can have customers what is lacking in our ministry and our business is commitment to god that's what is lacking. You know, Rex, how many of you have eaten sa Rex Kandingan? Rex, nakaon ka muna? Kumain na kayo doon? Okay. What, you know what is Rex Kandingan? Kisayo, apakaan to. Halabisita mo. <laughs> Rex and Juji are my friends. Juji is the apo of Brother Balo, Brother Bolo, in Sagbayan. Brother Bolo and his wife, she magkutaw sa among kape when we started the work in Sagbayan. But anyway, Joji is the wife of Rex. They started in 2006, they started the Rex Kandingan. Kanang at the offset side of the Talisa City Hall, in SRP, on the other side, they started the, the Rick's Kandingan. Brother Ham and I, we were driving and we were passing by. Anak asuman? Yun ay tawang gatindog dito ga anak atanaw ba? So we were curious. And we looked and we, 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 we were driving slowly and we looked and kanang kaldirong dako, usa lang. They started the Rick's Kandingan. Usalang kana ka kaldir kaldirong dako. Unya na ay usak alamisa sa kilid nga opat ang makalingkod. We were curious. While there were people there in the in the in the table eating, dunay tulo nga gahulat nga mukaon. Inkunin do tingali kini pagano kay dano gahuat. Brother Rex, naka apron like that. Si Juji to sa the plane. Gana lang si Juji kay asawa ko. Ningo sa ay mga asawa, tamad man. <laughs> ha? Kasir. Oh, siya ay kasir ba? May son two weeks later, duha na ka table. Three weeks later, na lima ka table until na himong na po ka tables. Pagkaon na mo dito, to ako may sakili sa akasya. Oh, akasya ba ito? Umangga tingali. Murag mangga. Dito kami sa kilid gakaon. Kaya daghang gakaon. Now remember this. Their, their commitment was like this. Lord, they're Christians. I reviewed their salvation and I, I talked to them about Jesus Christ and they are Christians. They are not Baptists, but they are Christians. They are going to heaven because Jesus Christ is in their heart. I said, Brother Rex, what is your goal? He says, my goal is to help people eat. And we are committed, my wife and I, we are committed to the Lord. We are committing this business to the Lord. And we are committing everything to the Lord. Ang workers. Na siya'y duha ka workers. Na siya'y kanang si Rex ang galuto. Primero. But after one year, lahi na ang galuto, doon na si Rick dito luan. Okay. They were so committed from the very beginning. I don't know, maybe because their capital is not enough, but they just committed. In 2008, na na sila sa may, their present location, kanang sabasakan, rice field, but they didn't occupy the area like they are occupying now, just a little bit, a little bit of that area. And as they grow, in 2012, they have now that facility right there, right there now. Can you connect around? And they have 60, they have 60 tables now. 60. We move from one, and then 10, and then now 60. 
You know what? Every day, you know what is their earning? They earn net, 135,000 net. Nakuha na expenses para the next day for, for the, for the, ang ilang palito, next day. Ang ilang net is mga 135 to 150,000 pesos. They were saving that so that they'll be able to buy the property and build a, a bigger building. Now, they are now so successful that one day there was a Chinese businessman who came there and, you know, trying to convince them that they can be partners. He will build a big building and they will improve the facility. Pero mga isoon, ang, the, the good facility does not jive with kanding. Kanang kanding, inato na siya. Bisag ang imong kanang lingkuran, ang kanang kuwan lang yung tabla ng gamay. Nindot kayo na. Pero kung nindot ka ng may air condition na, wow, di, di mag-aayan siya ang kanding. <laughs> Tinood na. You know what I'm trying to say? From my observation, kanang may inaana, mga tinula, ako'y mag-air condition ka sa tinula, sinugba, hmm, asusin ang iro, marama, marama. But from the very beginning, Rex and Juji Pedrosa were committing themselves to the Lord plus the workers. They used to have only one worker. They had two. They had ten. Today, they have 25 workers. Just magpakaon. Why is that? Because they have committed themselves from the very beginning. Their problem was not customers. Today, you just go there every, every, every day, and you will find out that the customers are coming and going, coming and going. I my auto, like, just like that. Usahe, wag nang i-parking na. Tinood yun na. Can you imagine what God has done? My friend, in business, in ministry, in Christian life, in family life, there is only one thing you need to do. You have to commit yourself completely to the Lord. Happiness and success and provision in the, in, in the family or in business or in ministry is not a problem. Customers in restaurant is not a problem. Sales and money, it is, it is the commitment. It is the commitment. Commit yourself completely to the Lord. Number two, focus your mind on your work for God. Focus your mind, if you're in, 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 uh, in business or in, uh, in ministry, you have to focus your mind on the, your work for God. Yeah. Look at Philippians chapter 2 and verse number, number 2. Philippians chapter 2, verse number 2. All right? The Bible says, are you there? Say amen. amen. Fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, nga na competition mo, but in lowliness of mind, let it esteem other better than themselves. Humble bata ba? If you are a, a staff member of Bible Baptist Church, kinahanan ka mo, humble mo, love one another, understand one another. We are not competing in Bible Baptist Church. And the purpose of this verse is here is to remove your attention from yourself. To remove your attention from yourself and you will focus on your ministry on your business, on your family, on your social, so, social organizations. And if you will do that, you will find out that later on, without even thinking about success, God will give you a blessing of success. 
But many times, you know, gamay, usahay ka ng negosyo. Gamay po ka na, ginaway na. Murag, murag mayor ba, mayor, vice mayor. They were running for, for uh, the same office, for, for mayor. Nagdawag sila. Now, the mayor is in charge of administration. The vice mayor is not anymore helping the mayor. Why? He's preparing for the next election. That's politics. And can you imagine you are a staff of Bible Baptist Church and you are doing something that is not really in accordance with the things that we, are like, we like to do? I'm often listening carefully. We ought to be like-minded. Four years ago, to be exact, Brother Junji and his group and the Brother Marlon, they were in Samar, Brother Marlon. You were in Samar during the time, the group. They were trying to evangelize the whole island. And there were reports every day. They were, they were reporting. And you know what? One of the staff working here, you know what he said? Dagha naman ka ha, ka ng inyong nasave. Hai naman ka ng inyong nasave. Hai naman ka ng inyong nawin, ginatos, linibo. Of all people who is a staff of Bible Baptist Church, will say that when the when the when the when our our, our goal in the in this, this church, our project is to evangelize the whole country. Hi, naman ka ng inyong mga kwan na naluas. My friend, we ought to be like-minded. Stay humble. Ayaw gyug pahambol, o pahambog. Ayaw gyug pahambog. Kung guwapo ka, humble ka lang gihapon. Kung dili ka guwapo, labi na gyud. Hmm. Ingon si Kulas, text, Nakadungog ko nga kani inyong hitsurang pagkagwapo nasa inaasa inyong dugo, no? Ingin sa, ingin si Tikyo, oh, na, yod, kay, kay po ka naman. Ingin si Kulas, oh, tinood yun na kay, naaraman sa dugo, pero ang nawong, di makitaan. <laughs> ang ina ko ng pagkagwapo, nasa dugo, oh, tinood yun na kay, di man makitaan sa nawong. <laughs> Ang grabihe ito si Tikyo eh. Kung sa'yo mag-upagay, dili na si wala na apil din eh. Ingin si Tikyo, ah kaming mga dato, ilis-ilis lang may cellphone. Ingin si Kulas, kami ang tao mga pobre, ilis-ilis lang mag ring to. Focus your mind. Don't look at yourself. Focus your mind on the work and the ministry. If you focus on your customers and would-be clients or people, prospects in the church, you will end up focusing on your business, on your ministry. Don't focus on yourself. You'll end up focusing on your goals. Sometimes, you know, usahay ang atong sayop, ang atong kita na, ang atong itsura niya. Murag sayop ni Dab, di lima ayun yung pagkakuha ka ng diri dapit, o. Kau pa'y kahibawa sa beauty salon? Don't focus on yourself. 
Don't think about yourself. Pastor, why is it that I will not think about myself? Because God is thinking about you already. God is concerned for you. God loves you. God cares for you. He wants you to be happy. Your mind, your mind is not on your ministry and your business if you think you are better than anybody else. The fact is, the problem in ministry and in a company or in a business is when people think they deserve something better than they have. Yeah. They think they deserve. When people think you are doing more than what others are doing, when pastors, when partners and, and your helpers do not think the same thing, they want the credit, they want the ease, the comfort, and the gain. That's why, you know, when people invite me, I do not ask for a better place to live or to stay. Whatever the church can afford, you ought to appreciate that. Amen. Amen. Ah, grabe ang church in Bahano, bawal ko gikwento ng hotel dito nga. Ti, ang muna ikaw pa maghibaw sa kung kung sa'y ihatag sa pastor? You expect many things. Sometimes we think about ourselves only. Ako na ako. Kita na ako na. When your mind is focused, this won't be a problem at all. You will rejoice in the prosperity of everybody if you stay humble. Amen. Focus your mind on the work and your business that God has given to you. Number three, align your goals for the work of God. Yes. Amen. Align your goals. If you have goals, align it. I have goals in my life, but all of my goals is to align myself in the ministry here by the church. Yes. Nothing else. Nothing else. I have goals. Do you have goals? Amen. Do you have goals? 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 Do you have Nya, yeah, mga sawa ka. Ako oh, na, pwede. <laughs> Doon ako higi, I won Nick Binol Binolero yesterday. And uh, Nick is 48 years old. Namin niyo siya, pero he stayed without a job. So wala sila yung kwarta. O niya, ang iyong asawa, nag-goal nga, wala sila yung kwarta. Ang iyong pagkaon ng... Kung ba, ka nang nihit nga pagkaon na di ka isa mabusog tingali ang asawa? One time nilakaw sa mga itag-trabaho, pagpauli niya, one day ang asawa? Nangita si Sine kung ay hain ang asawa. Isa, nilakaw man to. Wa nang mabalik, hangtod ka ron. Ingon ko, niya, wa niyong wa pangitaan siya. Ako sa pagpangita, ako kayo ba kung asa siya? Huwag siya mangita. Mas maayaw pa ang iro. Mubalik ko eh. Ang iro? Mubalik. Ang iring, ilabay mo dito sa kuhan, sa tisa. Mubalik din ako eh. Tinood na. Ang iring, doon ay direksyon. Ang asawa, di na mubalik. Mga may direksyon. So while I was dealing yesterday, I said, Nick, forget about your, the situation of your family. Think about that one day you are going to die. I am going to die. If that happens to you, Nick, where will your soul go when you die? What a What a And my brothers, in carefully, in a situation like that, you have to understand, 
people have problems that way and they do not know what to do and they are confused. Iko ne maminyo ka fa gusto ni maminyo. Ang lisod magminyo pastor oy ngano man. Mo mong kwit trabaho. Nya, ano na siya dito sa gapuyo sa yang exon wa gi goal in town. Bisag manud la ago yang ang buhok niya pila lang ka buhok na bilin. He is only 48 years old. Pares ni mukin no. Puti na ka. Four four days. Kini kini mga lalaki ang ilang idad isugi dun na siya. Four days four days pero babae subtract per mi mga babae. Kamo mga babae di kamo malangit nang kini kala kaya. Kaya bisag idad mama mama kak mo. Align your goals. You remember in John chapter 6, the disciples were in the synagogue. And uh, of course, in the synagogue, the Lord Jesus Christ was talking to them and encouraging them and trying to review their work. And because they were disciples, they were discouraged in the work that they were doing. And while Jesus Christ was talking, some of the disciples went away. Because there is something, there is a lesson you are going to learn from this. Some of the disciples went away. So what did he do? He just, he just did not do anything about those who have left. You know what he did? He looked at those that were, that, that were remaining and he said, Will you also go away in verse number 62? Yeah. Will you also go away? Do not Bible students have a colored? Give please an answer. In Shanga, is she also go away? <laughs> is she also go away? What is your decide? Katawa sa moyo, katawa ng biyana. Jesus Christ did not mind those who are left, those who went away. If you, because when a person goes away, he has made the decision to go away. You cannot change the mind of a person who has left. Because it is fixed already. But those who remain, they were the ones that were faithful. Why did they go away? They forgot that they were disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you forget that you are a Christian, if you're a child of God, you will do something that is not conduent to what the Lord desires. The Lord wants you to do something. If you are a Christian, be a Christian wherever you are. Kinahala ang testimony na to. Atong sinina, atong itsura, ang atong... Ang pagsulti ng panggawi na to tanan. Kung mangutang mo, bayad, oy. Masaya tayo mga kristuhanong isa. Ah, kanang, kanang, member na ni Pastor Jezalba, di man ang mabayad na ako sa mana siya. <laughs> Inkudili na ako member, oy, sa badista na, oy. <laughs> bayad mo, Amen? Completely, commit yourself completely to God. Focus your mind. Align your goals for the work of the Lord. Jesus said nothing about those who left. If your goal is not aligned to your business, to your ministry, then you will lose your steadfastness in your work. No one can force you against your will to remain faithful in the ministry if you cannot align yourself to the goals of the company or the goals of the church. If you believe that God chose you to be the steward of your church 
or a pastor or a minister or a worker, you will not find peace outside of the will of God. My soul, the greatest thing you can do for God is serve Him. That's the greatest thing. You know why serving the Lord is the greatest thing? Because you are doing the greatest work, winning souls. And the most important destiny to heaven. Amen. Dr. Fali used to say, uh, people said, Dr. Falwell, you are the president of moral majority, and I think it's about time you become candidate to become president of the United States of America. You know what Dr. Falwell said? He said, gentlemen, thank you for thinking about me to become candidate. But I am now in the, in the highest position I can be in, pastor of Thomas Road Baptist Church in Lansford, Virginia. Mga Igsoon, when you serve God, when you are in the ministry, you are in the highest position you can be in. Time says, you know, it's very humbling. That, you know, you, you deal with people and they receive Jesus Christ. My son, makahilak sa gawin. Can you imagine the opportunity? It is always nice to think that uh, we can be in the will of God. But if you force yourself into it, you will never be happy. Can I be tao nga, dili man ako buton sa ginoo nga, ang lalaki maminyo sa babae nga unsaved. Dili man ako buton sa ginoo. Ang kabuton sa ginoo, kanang pulos gud mo kristuhanon. You remember in John chapter 2, that Jesus Christ was present in that first wedding. Be, you know why? Because it is a wedding of Christians. When Jesus Christ is present, when Jesus Christ wants to be present in the wedding, He is sponsoring the marriage of Christians. Christian young man, Christian young, young lady. My Lord is happy when that happens. Align yourself. Your goals. You must have a clear cut goal. And you have to pursue that goal. You have to, to, be, to be intentional and aggressive and faithful. Do it. Do it. Just like in the ministry. You know, if you're in the ministry, you want to succeed in the ministry, you have to focus on soul winning, visitation, prayer, all of that. Simple Christian duties that you need to, to be faithful in. And if you'll be faithful in those things, God will bless you in a mighty way. Commit yourself completely to God. Focus your mind and heart on the work that that's given to you. Align your goals in the goal, and lastly, resist competing influences. Resist competing influences in the work of God. In 1969, I was just elected pastor of Alba Church. I had a little office at 5173 Street, the girls' dormitory. If you face the girls' dormitory, my office is right here. Just a little office, a little table, and one, one chair. And another one in the corner. Dr. Lincoln, Dr. Lincoln Nelson arrived. I said, Doc, why are you here? I am surprised why you will be here on a Wednesday service. And he said, well, we're just coming here and we would like to see you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what can I do to help you? Because it was already about probably maybe 20 minutes before the service. What can I do to help you? Dr. Wilson said like this. This is 969. President Eisenhower asked me to go back to the States and be part of the medical team at the White House. I said, yeah. 
Anybody salva? I am really thrilled that he would ask me to be a part of the team. But I am thinking about Bethel Baptist Hospital in Malai Balai. I've been here for many years now. We have a good building and we are needing a director. And we come here to ask you if you will be the director of Bethel Baptist Hospital. While he was talking, my friend, I did not think that it was an opportunity for me to expand my ministry. I did not think it was an opportunity to expand. I was looking at it from the standpoint of a, of a competing influence in my ministry. Because I was already elected pastor. And I was fully convinced that God has called me to be pastor of Bible of the Church. And he was talking. And he said, Brother Salva, you know, and he told me about the housing and, you know, Arley and Bubong and uh, I don't know. Wala second. Kent was still in the dreamland. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we were going to, and then he was talking about you know, my allowance and, and all of that, and then plus allowance from the patients. And then he said, uh, I will stay here for six months to refine your surgical techniques and all of that, and the other procedures in the hospital, and you know, the, how to, the administration that we have been uh, working on, and, and all of that. And, and uh, he was talking and talking and talking. I said, Dr. Nelson, I really appreciate you thinking of me to become director of that big hospital in Malay Balai Bukit Nun. But I am sorry to tell you, I have committed myself to Bible Baptist Church as to be pastor. My friend, right there and then, I cut away any resisting or competing influence in my ministry. And then later, of course, uh, the, uh, the hospital went on and then Ruthie, the, the sister of Brother Boyax was asked to become director of the hospital until today, Ruthie is the director. But I want you to see like this, if you are in the ministry, or if you have a family, or you have a business or something like that, there will be competing influences to stop you from succeeding. Right. It's just like bakery, but Brother Cording here, he used to have bakery. Anything that you do, any competing influence, just throw it away. Amen. Yeah. Because you want to concentrate on the very thing that God has given to you. Ayaw mo ka nang sagul-sagul sa mga butang and it will, be, it will, it will compete. Right. If you are in the medical profession, stay in the medical profession. Amen. It just happens that, you know, God called me away from medical profession. Doctor here is medicine, and some of you are dentists, and you're in the medical profession. But my friend, all the states resist competing influences. If you are running a race or running a journey, do not wave at the crowd. Hey! And sometimes we are running the race and we are bothered with, hey, you, you think that probably they are cheering over you. They may not be cheering at you. They may be cheering at somebody else. Just be aggressive in running. Do your work. Hello. Do your work. Never mind those mga, mga things like that. Hey, nindot kayo mayo. Guy, pildi di ay. Pildi. Attend to the aggressiveness of your journey. And at the end, you will rejoice just like the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul at the end of his life, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse number 6, he said, For I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord righteous judge shall give me at that day, but not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Amen. 
What a conclusion of the life of the Apostle Paul. He committed himself to God from the very beginning. The Bible says in chapter 9 of the book of, of 2 Corinthians, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? From that time until the end in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse number 6, the Apostle was fully committed. And if you are fully committed, God will reward you with great success Amen. and bless you far above your fondest expectations. Marvin, I will tell you this. 2021 will be a big challenging year. I believe with all my heart that many of you have many plans, but sometimes our plans are being, you know, being disturbed by the pandemic and all these problems like that. Listen, just keep going. Amen. Keep going. You're going to school? Keep going. Amen. We have one student who says, Masli Sudi ay kining mag-online ta sa sa Babius Christian Academy. Kay Babius, spacious man. Kanang online, na kay computer diha or kanang laptop. And then, you listen to the, the teacher dictating to you the lessons, I don't know how it goes, but sometimes, ing ingon sa mga estudyante, kuting lisura kay usahay ang among teacher, hinay kay obtengog. Ang a, ang mukhang tangay mong kwan, mukhang tangay mong teacher. And sometimes, you know, it's very difficult. Labi na kung tapulan ka, agoy. They do not like babios, nga naman, lisod ko na ang magkwanag faces, Karon mas lisod ang online. Mas lisod ang online. Salamat nga wala ko yung elementary school. Ako yung paglisod sa elementary school. Oy. Can I do make mag mag magbaligya, may bayabas? Okay, wa mang iwi palit o papel. So, isa nindot kayo ni yung bayabas. Hindi man nagkuhaan eh. Wala sila kay Bao nga, around the cemetery, cemetery na ay mga bayabas ka ng kural. Wala may makuha niya na kay na cemetery lagi. Pero kuha ko na mo, ibalik niya na mo. Ma'am, nindot kayo niya, wala ito yung cemetery yung good. Di lima na, dautan ba, di ba? Na maligya mi. Ang diferensya lang kay ang origin, Pero makapalit man may papel, makapalit man may notebook, nindot kayong bayabas, nagpaak ngayon mo, gapula-pula o yun. <laughs> Marag taong wapag yung mamatay. <laughs> And my friend, all of these times, all of these years, beginning today until the end of 2021, It will be a happy, rejoicing end Amen. if you will follow the principles that Apostle Paul has given. Uh, number one, commit yourself completely to God. Commit your skill, your talent, your health, your ability, your family, everything. Every time I, I had the opportunity to talk to the Lord in prayer, I say, Lord, I commit my family to you. I commit Mommy, I commit Arlie and Kurt, Abby, I commit Kent, I commit Bubo and Paula, uh, Paige, Ellie Cameron, Heath, Edward, David Emmett, Stephen, ang lisura talaga ang mga Amerikano eh. Ang mga kalisura sa kinibuhi, kini mga Amerikano. Nga, mga akong pamilya, rasagol naman. Na Amerikano, ang pasalaman ako ay Indian. <laughs> Commit your life to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Align your goals. Focus your mind. Align your goals for the work of the Lord. And last but not least, resist competing influences that will destroy your journey and take away your aggressiveness in pursuing your journey for God. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the privilege of preaching. Oh God, strengthen us and help us to understand that our work does not end where we like to end. 
Our work does, does not stop. When we are tired and we, are, we cannot go on anymore. Our work goes on in the midst of all of the challenges that we have. Lord, we give you the glory tonight for the privilege that we have to preach your word and continue to bless our workers, our staff of Bible Baptist Church. Continue to take care of the need that we have. Oh, God bless Pastor Ken and the administration, Mom Ruth, the children. I pray for Mom Daisy and Mom Jenky and all of those in the music department the staff, the uh, office staff, the security staff, the visiting staff, kitchen staff, Bible college staff, academy staff, library foundation staff, our maintenance crew, extension staff, saturation staff, all of them, the Lord, please help them because we like to finish 2021 in a great, in a great good banner so that you will be glorified and be honored. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's bow our heads for prayer.